Welcome back to Local 5 News Midday. We are joined by Jerry Hull of our plant and garden specialist. And you are here. We are just a couple weeks out from Christmas, which means Christmas trees. Right. And it's a really big weekend for folks to go out and pick them. It's going to yes. be fairly nice out there. Right. But there's a lot that goes into having a live tree. What are you, some of your recommendations? Well, I want to show you, too. When you do get one, try to ask the lot where you get them from. Is it a northern grown? They last so much longer than the southern grown. Okay. Like something in Minnesota, Wisconsin, usually better. I'll show you the close-up here. You can see on this side it's kind of dark looking. Now look at this side. See it's lighter color. This is a fresh cut. With a fresh cut like this, what you do is uh, you want to have it cut and then get it within 24 hours. Get it into a, your water in a stand. And cold water is always the best to start with in there. And the biggest thing is you've got to check your water once a day. You want to stick your finger inside there to feel if you feel water. Once it dries out, everything seals again, then it can't absorb water. So if you want to have a safe tree in the house, you know, get it in the water within 24 hours of getting it from the lot. That way, too. It works a lot better that way. Uh, where I picked this up this morning, there's a lot right across from Discount Tire on 22nd Street. It's mm -hmm. down kind of low by the creek there. And they've got a lot of northern grown trees there. And there's there's a lot of lots around that are good, too. But that one has a lot of the trees that are a Fraser tree. And that's the one that's the best. If you go up and feel it, it's kind of soft. And the needles stay on the tree better. I brought a little branch here. This is called white pine. This is probably the number two thing to find. Mm -hmm. It's real soft. I mean, it's a real soft type tree. It's a longer needle. Okay. Yeah, that works good too. Let's talk poinsettias in a minute too. I brought these here. Um, we have here that uh, the ones I brought last week. There's some of the newer varieties we've got this year. We got punch and then the princess here. Uh, red is still number one. The one over here, that's by far the number one seller of anything. Mm -hmm. Some people that don't like the poinsettias, they are a little bit dangerous if you would eat some of them. It won't really kill you. It makes you sick. A lot of people <laughs> have the one here. It's called a Christmas cactus. And these will last you up to, oh my, you can get anywhere from 10 to 20 years out of these. Wow. Yeah, I remember long. this. You showed me this once before. Yeah. What do you? What is your recommendation on poinsettias? Because I know you can overwater those, correct? Yes. Those you want to keep on the drier side. They're originally from Mexico years ago. That's where we come from Mexico. Just keep on the drier side. Try to use warm water for them. Where Christmas trees is cold water. Any plants in your house, try to use room temperature or warmer water and don't overwater. All right, all good tips as yes. everybody gets ready for the holiday season. Right. Jerry, thanks so much. If you have any questions for Jerry or you want more information, there's the phone number right there on your screen. Stay tuned. I have one final look at the forecast coming up after the break.